I'm, uh, I'm Mike Garrigan and I race for Van Dessel, Shimano and Velo Color and uh, yeah I'm here at the National Championships racing in the elite category here. Yeah. So my name is Siobhan Kelly, I race for Epic Sports Performance Two Wheels and I'm going to be in the elite women's race tomorrow for National Championships for Cyclocross. So my name is Ashley Larson, I race for Rise Racing presented by Cycle Path Woodbridge and I'll be racing in the elite women's race tomorrow at the National Championships. We've had a little bit of rain today, but I think it's not going to be a problem tomorrow because it's not as much rain as we were all expecting to have. I didn't find it quite that muddy. It's just really the cold and the wet that is the problem today. Um, but I think the course is going to be super fast tomorrow. The sand seems really fast. Excited to see what the flyovers and everything are like tomorrow in pre-ride just before the race because it closed today. But I think it's going to be super fast. It's a really fun course so far. Yeah. The course here in Winnipeg uh, is fairly similar to what they had last year for National Champions. Uh, they have tweaked it a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of features that are really similar, but also they've added some, they've added a massive flyover, they've added an extra run-up, uh, they've added an extra sand pit, so it's, it's more technical and I think it's going to be uh, more physically demanding as well as technically demanding. It's, it's great, they really upped the production level and another notch, yeah. On the run-up, we do the dirt run-up, and then we head into stair run-up on the flyover. Um, I think that's going to be a bit of a congestion area on the first lap, and could be a little bit tricky and a couple mess-ups there. So, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see how that goes on the first lap of the race. I'm hoping we're kind of a little bit spread out going into that, or at least uh, somewhat controlled, or it could get pretty hairy. So, I mean, the, these sand pits are pretty quick, so it's... Um uh, I mean, it'll be challenging if, if you're in a big group, but if you're on your own, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. I think that there's so many places where, uh, where a move could happen, uh, so I don't think there's really one spot. Uh, there's probably ten spots on the course where you could make something happen, yeah.